Armed robbers invade Asarok. Empty Buhari's chief of staff, Gambari's admin office, Maikano's residence. This is the current news today, among others. Armed robbers invaded Asarok. The empty Buhari chief of staff, Brian Gambari's admin office, and also my Kani's uh, residence. This is published by the People's Gazette. Armed men suspected to be robbers invaded the residences of two senior aides to President Muhammad Buhari inside the precinct of the presidential villa. Administration officials and security sources have uh, told People's Gazette about this development, raising fears that the rising insecurity across the country was drawing closer to the elite than previously estimated. The incident on May 9 yesterday prompted Ibrahim Gambari and Abubakar Maikano, the chief of staff and admin officer, respectively, to abandon their residences, sources said, probably a reliable source. Their houses were robbed and the robbers packed money and other valuable assets from both houses and aid to the, uh, to the uh, chief of staff told the People's Gazette about the robbery. It was not immediately clear whether or not valuable documents, as at the time of the report, of the state's interest were carted away by these uh, intruders, but the Gazette had that the residences were thoroughly ransacked. Do I mean those in Asrock? They were robbed, and what their valuables were ransacked. The robbers took away as much as possible from both places. A security officer that confirmed the incident said this: "What is more unfortunate is that no one has been arrested. None of the burglars have been arrested. I mean, in our all uh, secured Asrock." Officials also said that Mr. Gambari, that the uh, President Buhari's chief of staff, was given an official residence at the defense house, but has not been living there, preferring instead to live inside Asarok and be close to the president. Nigeria's presidential palace, just east of the city center, east of the city center, has long been seen as highly fortified and far beyond the reach of burglars. I mean, when you hear of burglars or armed robbers, going inside Azarok, you'll be wondering how fortified they were, I mean, how they were, you'll be wondering how they were able to break through inside Azarok, but is you know, before our eyes, is happening, what we think that could do happen, is happening even before our eyes. I mean, they, uh, they enter their bandits and other criminals currently holding the vast weights of the country to ransom. We, we are battling with bandits, criminals and all lot of things in this country, but we are not expecting such to happen at all as a rock. As criminal activities, you know, overshadow other matters of national consequences, Mr. Buhari, our president, has faced calls to act urgently before it will be too late. Our bandits, the, uh, some of the news in the past week, on the past months, they have abducted thousands of citizens since January alone, claiming billions in ransom payments at alarming rate. But the invasion or the robbers who were able to have their way inside us to steal, uh, to cut away valuables from the, the, the presidential aides. No explanation was immediately rendered for such invasion and why it was not prevented by the ubiquitous contingent of security officers, especially those of the state security service guarding the uh, Azarok fortress. Mr. Gambari did not immediately return a request seeking comment. A spokesman for the SSS said he would not comment on the matter, and a spokeswoman for the police in Abuja abruptly disconnected the call upon hearing the People's Gazette's inquiry was about a security breach at the presidential villa that is every day in nigeria you are hearing of a news i mean new one coming up if it is not here is there so when this was published by the people's gazette it started trending bashar ahmed bashar ahmed he is the personal assistant on new media to president muhammad Buhari. he quickly tweeted he quickly called it a fake news he said it's a fake news 
a fake news he said an exclusive fake news from this news blog that is that the people's gazette have given us a fake news this is what is expected from you fake news and more fake news before that his tweet could in last some minutes on the social media space that's on twitter gaba shehu who is also official spokesperson to the president of the federal republic of nigeria uh, 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 president muhammad Bari, also tweeted that the chief of staff professor ibrahim gambari has confirmed that there was a foolish attempt to boggle his residence at 3 a.m this month but it turned out to be unsuccessful as against what the people's gadget revealed gazette revealed now who is giving us the fake news now two presidential uh, spokesperson it's one uh, but sure, I may say it's fake news. Now, Gaba Shehu is saying it's not fake news. So who should we believe and who should we take seriously in this country now, currently? This one is saying it's fake news. This one is, you know, breaking the news further to us. I mean, we are, we are, we are really confused in this country. And when he learns that the news is no longer fake, he tweeted again. Bashar Ahmed tweeted, haven't called it fake news, fake news in his uh, previous tweet. He tweeted again, probably haven't seen that Gaba Shehu has tweeted to confirm the news. He tweeted, said, armed robbers, in, uh, in quote, armed robbers invade Asarok. M.T. Buhari, chief of staff, quoting uh, People's Gazette tagline. Uh, M.T. Buhari, chief of staff, Gambari admin office, my canal's residence, still to ba Bashar Ahmed, his claim stands that people's gazette update is a fake news people of understanding according to bashar ahmed and uh, reasoning of course understand the difference between an attempt and an invasion of course nigerians will always react to it some twitter handlers also came up to condemn this mess up condemn this confusion you are calling it fake news and this one is also confirming the news Bashar Ahmed calls it fake news Gaba Shehu tweets this this is coming from Chidi he said I'm ashamed totally ashamed I've never seen this type of governance in my life anywhere before this is also coming from uh, Nifatiti say Bashar and some of you already called people's gazette fake news media so who is the fool now understand there is no smoke without a fire chief of staff professor Brian Gambari's Asarov lodge was invaded by armed robbers that's the news so don't deceive us we know that this is the correct news and this is also coming from as I see the attempt to justify barbarism but putting fake news out there is not going to help so this is not fake news this is the real news armed robbers invaded the residence of the chief of staff today uh, president this is the news not fake news this is coming from fisayo soyombo bashar ahmed called it fake news gabashi who branded it a foolish attempt at burglar one of them must be lying either bashar's fake news is fake or shale's foolish attempt is fake the number one trumpeter of fake news are often is staunchest uh, exponents we are confused really in this country this is the other first lesson Bashar one thing I know is that Buhari Buharists have different meaning for conventional meaning invasion could be translated as attempted invasion by Buharist had it not been for Ramadan you guys would have denied it completely that is it that is what we see in this country another one is saying Bashar Ahmed people in southern Nigeria are not dumb we have sense to reason and think an attempt or an invasion anyhow you want to anyhow you want to call it none should happen at all in the most secure place in Nigeria I mean it could if uh, armed robbers are invading communities cities yes we could understand it not an in an asoro that we consider a fortress a mighty fortress in this country nigeria they are invading and cutting away valuables and you are calling it fake news and though you are calling it fake news even though it's an attempt attempt to boggle 
uh, you know what belongs to the uh, chief of staff how we are they able to have their way inside the residence of the chief of staff to the president how we are they able to have their way and this one is saying there are two presidencies Bashar or Gabashir will choose carefully we only knew of attempted coup now we have attempted invasion by arm robbers we are simply telling the world Nigeria has no leader that's why the seat of power has no security why should there even be an attempt in the first place that place should be one of the most secure places in the country which is true this is true and this one is saying a groom up will take his left aisle and owns is this but i mean it's appalling how the government quickly debunks fake news but will take days to address the nation on pressing issues like bandit attacks abductions high prices of goods or services for people to attempt to evade asaro it shows the level of insecurity in nigeria this one is saying very shameful and appalling is shameful and is sh very very shameful that the most secure place in this country nigeria is invaded and you are calling it fake news just before just few minutes after calling it fake news your colleague in the in the same uh, 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 office in the same place came up to confirm the news and you are trying to rephrase, rephrase it why was there an attempt in the first place why was there an attempt in the place we consider as a fortress in this country this one is saying never in nigeria city did anyone attempt at stealing bogo 400 meters within the perimeter fence of the presidential villa or even asaro from bushfires to burglary just this week administration please nobody should steal my president for me it's crazy what is happening in this our country nigeria what is happening we don't even understand again how we are these people able to have their way inside asaro that's a question for another day who should you believe now should you believe the people's gazette publication that it, not just a, a foolish attempt the arm robbers were able to cut away valuables. They were able to cut away valuables. And they, 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 they were able to have their way inside us. It's so bad. So what actually is your reaction to this? Who should we believe now? Bashar Ahmed, who called the fake news and also came up to say, okay, an, an attempted invasion or a foolish attempt. A robber, does, a robber who was able to have his way, I mean, robbers were able to have their way inside us. And you call it a foolish attempt. And according to the People's Gazette publication, they carted the way valuables. What is your reaction? Who is giving us fake news? Bashar Ahmed or the People's Gazette? Thank you.